guys, what's going on? Modern Gamer here, back with another episode of Road to the Top. Uh, we're using a new team. I'm done with the Tapu Koko team. Uh, if you're wondering why it's taken a few days to actually make a new episode, it's because a mixture of school plus getting this team wasn't fun. So, yeah. Uh, we're finally back with another episode. It's a cool team. Um, I used it to get top 8 at a premiere challenge, unfortunately at that premiere challenge. Um, which was the only event I actually brought this team to. Uh, I actually had to leave during Top Cut, so no way to know if I actually would have made it farther. I, I would guess probably, but um, yeah, it's a fun team. It features Politoed, which is something that you don't really see too much with this format. Uh, it's got Talonflame for Tailwind, and it has Flare Blitz and stuff, so it's good against like Celesteal. Um, I also have a Z-move on Crocodile and uh, Metagross, so a lot of big damage output right there. Uh, just like the last team, I still have the Dark Z-move, which I actually think is like really, really good. Um, specifically for this team, but like I, I don't know, I think it's pretty good in general. Um, and I'm also rocking the Z-taunt still, which is pretty cool. But uh, yeah, we're going to start up. Um, we're going to see where we are, because I actually haven't gone on in a few days. All right, 1625, that's not bad. All right, I'll just set the music to random stuff. Okay, 1625. So I remember we lost the first battle, I think, and then won the second battle in the last episode, which is uh, pretty good. We're 21-1, and one, so we're going about like a two-third win-to-loss ratio. Not super good, but like it's better than nothing at least. Um, sp like Especially for the team that I was using to get that in the first place. I'm actually sort of surprised I did as well as I did. Um, I know that the Tapu Koko, Celesteel, uh, Garchomp, Gyarados sort of deal, like the one that I was using in my original team, uh, that's actually picking up a bit of popularity, but I personally don't like that core just because there's a lot of things that are very good against it. All right. <laughs> okay, and this is going to be a pretty tough match. So this guy is running an EV team. Uh, he's got two redirectors with the uh, Smeargle and the Clefairy. So both of those can redirect away from Eevee. And uh, they can make it so that um, Eevee can just set up with Extreme Evo Boost. If you don't know what that does, it makes it so that it increases its special attack, special defense, speed, attack, and defense by two stages. So pretty scary. Um, unfortunately for him, I do have... A universal lead for this sort of thing. Um, I'm gonna go Crocodile, Zerkatree, and let's see. Metagross is definitely really good here because if he puts the boost onto Tapu Bulu, then um, then Metagross like sort of walls it. I mean, at plus two, it's not really that good. But uh, uh, Politoed, I also think could be pretty good here. Like it depends on what he ends up bringing, whether it's the Arcanine or the Feeny. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Like, it's very hard to actually choose for this matchup because Politoed is good against the Arcanine, but bad against the two Tapus. We're going to go with Lele because at the very least, we can pair it up with um, Psychic Terrain with the Metagross is what I'm thinking. If he goes Arcanine, then he's going to have to choose who he targets every single turn. Um, so, like, that's what I'm hoping for. For this team. Yeah, this is really unfortunate because this team, like, this is one of the reasons why I actually um, only use this team at one event so far, and it's because it doesn't really have a solid answer to the Eevee mode. Although, this guy actually decides to lead Arcanine and Tapu Bulu. Um, sort of questionable lead, in my opinion, just because, I mean, we do trade Intimidates here, but he could have just gone straight for the setup mode with Eevee, I think. Um, Tapu Bulu gets its Grassy Surge up, so that's pretty scary as well. Supports their Arcanine. Um, yeah, their Arcanine's actually very, very scary here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to double into Arcanine. And that's just because I don't really want to switch Crocodile out into anything. Um, if I switch out into Metagross and he goes for, like, a Heat Wave, that could be very bad. Um, or maybe, like, if for some reason he Z-moved Tapu Bulu and he goes for it, like, a, a, a Woodhammer or Hornleech will KO Crocodile here anyways, but, like, I just don't want to risk switching in with Metagross and taking a lot of damage. 
Um, especially if Zerkatry ends up outspeeding the Arcanine here, because if I can put it in range of a Thunderbolt, then Metagross can just deal with Tapu Bulu. If he's faster and he has Snarl, then this is going to be a very tricky situation. Um, if I can critical hit him too, that'd be good. Alright, so he's not max speed Arcanine. We know that just because Crocodile outsped him. Um, we're going to get the Black Hole Eclipse off. So same animation. Probably my favorite animation in the... Uh, or out of the Z-moves. Um, Metagross is pretty cool, the Shattered Psyche, but I don't know. This one is just, it's really cool. It's like, sort of like Dragon Ball Z, like Spirit Bomb. Uh, and he's actually slower. So let's see, does this KO? And it KOs, that's good. Uh, he probably KOs Crocodile here, maybe? No, he could attack Zerkatree. That's also a legitimate target. Goes for Woodhammer. And he actually targets Kruk, so he's going to take a lot of recoil from that. Um, I believe he'll take, like, 70 damage. He's going to heal back, like, 14 damage from this. So, it's pretty scary. Um, but the rest of his team doesn't have a way to effectively deal with this thing, which is why I use this thing. Um, I think what this will come down to right here is if his Tapu Bulu is fast. And he actually has Smeargle in the back, so that's also pretty concerning. Um, I could easily double into Smeargle here, I think. Let's see. Can I just protect, maybe? I think I'm going to double protect. Or maybe, I don't know. That doesn't make sense. Because he could protect Smeargle here and just Woodhammer Zerkatry, which really isn't that bad, I think, actually. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to double into Smeargle. Zergatry outspeeds Smeargle as well, so um, he actually has Fake Out. He goes for Metagross, though. Okay, so that's completely fine by me. I'm going to, at the very minimum, break a Sash if he has it. If not, then this will be a clean one-hit knockout. Okay, and he does have Focus Sash. He has Snarl. All right, so I'm down to neutral now with Zergatry. Alright, and he's going to get that little boost, too. Do I, does it bring me up to Sash? No, it does not. Okay, so I think I know what I'm going to go for here. I'm going to protect Zerkatry so that the grassy terrain brings back my uh, Sash. And let's see, Moody Evasiveness. So, um, I'm just going to try to target it down with bullet punches. I don't think I really have a choice. Because my goal with this is I want to protect Zerkatry, get back up to Focus Sash with Grassy Terrain, and then hopefully hit Smeargle with Bullet Punch here. Uh, if he protects with Smeargle, then we're going to have to deal with one more turn of um, Moody, which may or may not help us. If he can drop his own Evasion, that could be really good. Because at the moment, no other stat on Smeargle actually matters. Defense doesn't matter at all. He's minus one. Um, so yeah, I think what we're hoping for right here is just straight up uh, evasion drop. And if he protects, that's fine, because we're still reaching our goal with Zerkatry, just getting back the Sash. Alright, and he avoids. He goes for Spore, and that's going to go on Metagross. <laughs> Fun stuff. Fun game. We dealt with this for a year. I'm good. He would hammers Metagross too. That's actually really interesting. Because I don't see why you would ever go for that play right there. Zerkatry is... I don't know. I guess Metagross is a threat here. But it's not that much of a threat. Oh, and that actually... does. Did that bring us up to the right point? Did it. Alright, and as long as this isn't speed right here. Special defense. Okay, that's completely fine. Yeah, because I can just go for a Thunderbolt and a Meteor Mash. Yeah, I really don't know why... I mean, I like I, he, he had no reason not to risk the Spore right there, I think. I was just thinking, like... Okay, and he has King Shield, but I'm Thunderbolting into that, so that doesn't matter. Uh, that's actually a hacked Smeargle, because you can't get Aegislash, so... <laughs> How you doing, bro? Alright, and that's not going to KO, because we're back up to Sash. Um... It actually didn't KO anyways, so maybe he's, like, defensive. 
And Metagross is actually slower as well. That's still, like, completely fine by me. Yeah, because he doesn't want to switch into a Thunderbolt. He gets Evasiveness again, so that's also still, like, super concerning. Um... But I don't, I don't really have a different line of play here. I just have to Thunderbolt Smeargle. Hope I connect. If I don't, I need to hope Meteor Mash connects. And then at that point, I think I just win. Because he doesn't really have a good way to deal with Metagross. Uh, and he goes for Follow Me, so that's what I was expecting. Let's see. Thunderbolt misses. He goes for Snarl. Okay. I need to wake up and hit right here. Woke up, Meteor Mash, and it misses. Oh well. Um, as long as he doesn't get plus defense here or like more evasion or something, then I think we're fine. Because I can just go for a Psychic and a Bullet Punch. Actually, no, I can't Bullet Punch. I cannot Bullet Punch. Alright, Moody, Moody, Moody. Accuracy. That doesn't matter. Special Attack also doesn't matter. So he's plus four evasion. He's like minus one defense. Plus special defense and other random stats, I think. But he's not plus speed. Um, he does outspeed Tapu Lele here, unfortunately. So if he decides to go with that line of play, that could be a little bit concerning. Um, yeah, and I'm, I think I'm just going to sidekick and protect here. Because I need to try to <laughs> just, like, not lose the Smeargle here. Because Evasion is, unfortunately, like... I, st I, I don't understand why they even kept Smeargle in for this gen. but Or not even this gen, like, in the metagame at all. It's such a volatile Pokemon. Doesn't really make much sense to me, but it's... Oh, well. Uh, Metagross, protect. Let's see if I can not get predicted and hit. Okay, so we predicted right. Can we hit? And he avoided Okay, I'm going to actually check its stats now, because minus evasion, that's good. So what's his evasion? Plus three, minus defense. So bullet punch will definitely knock him out. Yeah, and I can go Thunderbolt and the Feeny, and I'm just going to bullet punch here. That was actually a misplay on his side, I think, because the psychic terrain was helping him. Because bullet punch is both more accurate and priority. So, like, even if he King Shields here, he's going to take damage with Tapu Fini. And I'm confident even if he has Calm Mind, uh, two Thunderbolts should knock him out. And he actually goes for Follow Me, too. So, if we connect here, that's good. Right, bullet Punch, connect. Evasion. Surf. Evasion. Okay, so we're, we're facing one of these people, but it's Smeargle. It's, it's, it's like a zero skill Pokemon for the most part. Like, Mo Moody is complete luck, but... It's like I said, we can't do anything about it, unfortunately. Um, at the very least, right here, at the very least, we'll get a little bit of recovery from his own um, grassy terrain. So I think that's our way to win this match, because, like, he's going to have to try to chip down Metagross at this point. That's what he's relying on. I could also... I think I should double into Bulu, actually. Psychic and Bullet Punch. Moonblast actually does more. All right, yep, yeah, we're going to go for it. Because that's the biggest threat right here. Um, he actually lets us go for it. So this should knock out unless he's, like, super specially bulky. Okay, and he's actually max speed Tapu Fini, so this does like 40 to Metagross, 80 to 40. Okay. I think I should win. As long as he doesn't crit Metagross, I think I win here. Because Tapu Lele should survive a Surf. Yeah, because this grassy terrain is helping me, not him. Yeah, I can, I can just... Um, 
I can actually double protect here, I think. Like, so what? He's he's revealed Surf. That's his, that's the only move he's revealed. If... If I double protect here, that guarantees that I survive it. So I, I think that's what I'm going to go for. If he's Calm Mind, then it's so what at this point. Because, like, unfortunately, it's best of one. We can't really risk that at this point. Because there's a good chance he might be able to KO Metagross with Surf. And I'm not willing to risk that. I don't think he would go for that hard of a prediction either. Okay, and he just goes for Surf. So, um, I believe... Yeah, as long as he doesn't crit Metagross here, we should win. Because... The Psychic Z-Move will do a lot of damage to him, and Thunderbolt will also do a lot of damage. So, yeah, damage is the goal right here. Um, oh, I actually... I forgot, I already Z-Moved with uh, Krugodile. Oh, well. <laughs> um, okay, slightly more concerning now. If both of my attacks go through, I should still win, because Bullet Punch should... Okay, Thunderbolt... Shy. That does a lot. Alright, I probably should have just bullet punched, because... Okay, and that connects. So this should KO. If not, I can just bullet punch for the win. Wow, okay, so this was, like, more close... This this match was, like, way more close than it should have been. Um, Smeargle just carried my opponent throughout half of that match. They were able to evade, like, five or six attacks, or maybe even more. Um, and that just put him in a position where, like, I couldn't really touch his Tapu Bulu, and that was just bad for me. <laughs> um, yeah, luckily we took the win, though. We didn't lose to some shenanigans. Uh, it always, like, it's not fun to lose to hacks, especially not Smeargle. It's like I said, we just, excuse me, we just got done with VGC 16. Smeargle was extremely prevalent in that metagame, and... That's not something I want to keep doing. I hope... <laughs> I hope Smeargle, like, just... People just don't use it in this metagame. Because it's not fun to play against. Like, if, if it didn't have Moody, it would be fine. The fact that it has Moody... And the fact that Moody gives evasion and speed are really scary. Ooh, 1780 player. Good player. Not bad player. <laughs> Yay, not a bad matchup. Or at least, I don't think it's a bad matchup. Um, straight off the bat, I think I can just lead Tapu Lele Talonflame, because he doesn't really have anything that checks that too well. Um, that also gives me the taunt option against Porygon if he decides to lead that. Um, let's see, in the back, definitely going Politoed. I think, like, the biggest question is what I want to bring for my last Mon, though. Uh, Metagross does a lot of damage to everything, it's weak to Earthquake. Uh, Crocodile is weak to Dazzling Gleam, but it resists, or is it, uh, is immune to Electric. Um, the Intimidate could also be good. Zerkatry could also be really good here, too. Um. Yeah, I'm actually inclined to go with Zerkatry, because it deals with the Celestial, and although it, like, it still takes a lot from Tapu Koko, if I can get a Tailwind up, then I think I'll be fine here. And if for some reason he leads, like, Tapu Koko Porygon, then, then like, I don't know. I, I'll let him set up Trick Room or something. Because, like, yeah, that's scary. He goes Gyarados Porygon 2. Okay, so that's actually, like, really scary, but not too scary here. Um, Gyarados is going to Intimidate. Doesn't really matter here. I'm not going to be attacking with Talonflame at all. Um... Psychic Surge, that's also really good for me. So I think, just straight off the bat right here, I can go for a Taunt into Porygon, and a Psychic into it as well. Yeah, because if anything, I think he would be more concerned with attacking Talonflame here, and he actually switches into Gyarados, so he's, or he switches out Gyarados into Celestial, so that's good. Um, I'm assuming he's probably going for Trick Room or a Thunderbolt right here. Uh, he can't Trick Room because of Taunt. Thunderbolt should not be able to KO Talonflame here. Um, Psychic should do close to half. Yeah, actually does about half. Uh, and he goes Tri-Attack, so just going for Chip Damage, I guess. 
All right, and he gets the burn. That's scary. <laughs> um, I can go for sort of a cheeky play there, or, or right here, because I have Thunderbolt on Tapu Lele, and more likely than not, I imagine he's going to switch Porygon 2 out into Gyarados. Um, and the combination of Thunderbolt plus Flare Blitz, even at minus 2, should knock out Celestial. Uh, if he switches into Marowak here, then I'll give him props. But yeah, he switches into Gyarados. There's like no reason to switch Marowak in there. Uh, if I Psychic Marowak, it goes down. Um, so hopefully this KOs. I imagine it'll KO. Just because I know that Thunderbolt does like a lot. And that actually does a lot through Intimidate. Was that a crit? It was not a crit. So Talonflame is a beast. That thing does so much damage. That's going to KO almost, yeah, almost certainly. Um, yeah, now I'm in a super good position because, yeah, because, um, Tailwind is, like, really, really good if he switches in Marowak right here, and Taunt is my standard play if he does anything else. So he switches in Marowak, so this is fine. Um, I'm gonna protect... Yeah, I'm gonna protect in Tailwind here. Or actually, yeah, I'm going to protect in Tailwind. Because, so like, here's here's my logic. So, oh, and he protects. That's actually really good. I was going to say, um, thinking about it, if... I set up Tailwind, and he, he can't set up Trick Room. He doesn't have a Trick Room setter up or anything. He actually protects both of his mons, too. So he just lets me set up Tailwind for free. Um, I was going to say, if he has the Z-move and he KOs my Tapu Lele through Protect or something, like, let's say it stacks with the Burn and is able to pick up the Knockout. Um, what I would be able to do from there is just sort of, like, sweep with Politoed. And since my Zerka Tree has Focus Sash, I don't need to worry about the Gyarados until later in the match. Um, yeah, because now what I can do is I can just Psychic Marowak and also Flare Blitz it, I think. Yeah. Because if he stays in with Marowak, it's going down. Uh, this also means if he's, like, super specially defensive, it guarantees the knockout. Um, but, like, it also means, like, if he switches into Porygon, then it's guaranteed KOing, too. Because we saw that the sidekick wasn't exactly to it KOing. It might be a roll. Um, so yeah, download right here. Does not matter at all. Uh, Flare Blitz. Yeah, this is definitely going to knock it into range of sidekick. And my hope here is actually that he... Yeah, I want him to KO Tapu Lele here, I think. Critical hit. That's good. Yep, and Waterfall into Lele. Okay, so that's actually good for us. Yeah, so now Politoed can just come in for free. Um, I'm, like, really not scared of his Gyarados right now. It's just like I said, unless he, like, unless he's Jolly Gyarados and he outspeeds and flinches my Zerka Tree, then I'm in sort of trouble here. Because I can still burn him with Politoed, and if that happens, then I win. Uh, you can't freeze Politoed either, so that's, like, really, really good. So, yeah, Scald into Marowak. Um, I can actually just taunt Gyarados here. Uh, just to prevent him from going for Dragon Dance or anything. And he actually doesn't protect with Marowak right here. So, this is pretty much a done deal. Um, Politoed should be able to knock out the Marowak in one shot here. Yeah, and the Gyarados can't set up or anything, so... Like, even if he manages to, like, okay, and he Dragon Dances. I was going to say, even if he manages to set up everything and get in a super perfect condition, um, he can't win because of Zerka Tree. He would have to flinch me and also not get burned by Politoed. Um, and that's just not going to happen. <laughs> it's not going to happen because I say so. <laughs> uh, yeah, this, this will do absolutely nothing. We're basically doing that to see if we can get a burn. Same thing with Scald. We're just going for it because there's no reason to switch into Zerka Tree here. That was a crit. He goes for Waterfall into Politoed. So yeah, he recognizes that Talonflame isn't a threat. Uh, that still does a good chunk of damage, but Tailwind Peter's out here. 
Um, and it's the same deal. We can just Scald, we can Tailwind. There's literally nothing he can do here. So yeah, we're going to take out a 1780 player. Um, now, given... I guarantee this player is like actually good. Like I'm not going to say they're bad or anything that I beat him. Um, because my team is designed to beat teams like his. His team is very standard, and my team is literally built to beat that type of team. So it's not surprising to me that I ended up winning this match just because there really wasn't much he could do in the end. Um, this right here is going to KO Politoed, but like I said, I have Zerkatry in the back. Um, and I have Focus Sash. I have Tailwind up. He can't Dragon Dance. I win. <laughs> oh no, Taunt wears off. And yeah, Zerkatry is going to finish this off. So that's going to be the end of the second match right here. Um... And we actually have like a regular length episode. We have a match that lasted way too long because of Smeargle. We had a match that was super short just because my team is good against this type of team. Um, and we're just going to discharge on top of it because we can. And he actually goes for the Protect. So we're going for the play like he's like triple Wakanberry <laughs> Gyarados or something. Not really. Um... Even if he protects through all of these, then it doesn't matter. Like, I just went for that for fun. He would need to get a quadruple protect, I think, and a flinch with waterfall. So the chances of that are, like, stupidly low. Um, yeah, because that was his first protect, and we have... We actually only have two more turns of Tailwind. So he would need a triple protect and a waterfall flinch. Um, it's not unheard of. He actually gets the double protect. I was going to say, it's not unheard of to get that sort of RNG, but uh, preferably won't happen because <laughs> we decided to screw around. Um, so, yeah. Oh, my God. Please don't actually happen. Okay. Yeah, and we're going to win. I was going to say, I'm trying to screw around, dude. You're supposed to forfeit when I go for the discharge. You're not supposed to keep playing. It's like I said, he's a good player. He knows there's a chance. If I make that sort of play. But yeah, okay. Finally going to reach the end of the episode, guys. Two long fought battles. In our favor, winning. Fortunately, finally winning games consistently. It's pretty fun winning instead of losing. Um, I actually like, I really like this team. Uh, there's a couple issues with it that I might try to change in the future. But overall... I enjoy the team. I hope you guys enjoy watching me play with the team. Uh, it seems like a fun team to watch, I think. It's pretty hyper-offensive. Got a lot of big plays that you can rank with it. Um, unfortunately, sort of like passive auto... Like passive getting sort of unlucky in the first one, but still winning. And then the second one was just sort of like an automatic win, I guess. But like, I don't know. I think this team's pretty fun to play with. Um, and yeah... Finally, the like the actual end of the episode, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, or if you have some sort of feedback to tell me, please go and leave a like, or go and tell me something in the comments. And if you want to keep up with my content as we ho head towards the rest of the season, make sure you guys check out my social media and hit subscribe. I'm Modern Gamer. Thanks for watching, guys.